Hey, real quick thing before we go straight directly in the video, I'm going to add this at the front. I made a mistake in the video and I say Chris when I mean to say Andrew. So truly apologies to Andrew. My bad. I forgot about that. And that's because I was having a complete uh, brain mark. Oh, brain mark. Well, wow. as you can see, I'm having a brain fart and a meltdown. But because of my mistake, I do want to add this here. Uh, it is a list of those people who have worked on this. And I want to make sure their names get seen. And I mentioned it. Whoop. And I mentioned it beforehand, but I want to talk about it here as well in the beginning of the video because I made a mistake and I think people deserve credit where credit is due. So iconic membership, you guys, I, I want to say thank you. Uh, and again, my fault, because Andrews, who I've literally been geeking out over this with and uh, <clears throat> I made a mistake in his name and I truly feel sorry about that. So I want to add this in at the beginning. So thank you guys. And later. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another video. Ooh. There we go. Now we're all set. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about the Iconic Studios XTB League Street Fighter V uh, Champion Edition Ryu. So let's get started. Gotta say shout out to the homies. So crazy enough, Eleven worked on this and Hugo Durando. So Hugo, if you are watching this video, I'm not sure if you still watch my stuff. I knew Hugo from years ago on Facebook. And Hugo has literally been sculpting things for ages now. And I'm so happy to have something. I can officially say I have something that he's worked on. Because even for a while, he was making t-shirts. So, special shout out to you, Hugo. Uh, I had no idea you were working on this. So, getting this in is a pleasure to finally, you know, work on something you've worked on. It's always a pleasure to have your friend's stuff. Uh, so, shout out to TB Lee, Hugo, Chris, uh, everybody. Just, just the whole team. And I, I appreciate you guys. So, let's get started. What's crazy is this is a one six scale, uh, one six scale figure. It is featured uh, on a seamless body with the help of TB League, and we have something that I, I love squishy parts, especially after messing with the alien thing. It's a little easier on one six scale, but between the sculpt and just the movement of this Ryu, I gotta say I'm really happy with how the beefcake came out. It's really really nice. Now one of the things I want to talk about is our wired bandana. The free flowing bandana is always a plus for me. As you can see up there, we can actually have it do the flow in the wind, look really good, right? You can do the flowing back. It just, the spiky hair. This head sculpt is phenomenal. Like, I love it. Bushy eyebrows and all over the headband. I love it. <laughs> like, then we have the fantastic arms. As you can see here, we are on seamless arms. It's one of those things that's really crazy. Look at that. That's squishy muscle, right? So it moves like... A, like you would a, a normal human well not this part because it's supposed to rotate with the arm but the point that i'm making is it, it just looks really fantastic to see it so when you do stuff and on uh for your articulation nuts especially if you want like perfect anatomy it you're gonna see how crazy it looks on this seamless body <clears throat> like look at that this is this is utterly fantastic i love it i love it i'm actually super excited I mean, it looks good for the camera, but anatomy-wise, this is this is actually awful. But look at that. I could press back with that butterfly joint. I could come in forwards, as you can see. So look at that. This is outstanding. Also, our belt is wired. I've, as you can see, I had it free-flowing in the wind, looking fantastic. Our clothing is really nice. Uh, you can actually do hunk version when you're like, you know, for the ladies who love to see some chess, right? As far as our midsection goes, as far as getting them forward, we have a phenomenal forward crunch, as you can see here. Moving backwards, not so much, but we do have a forward crunch. We have a wired front piece for our skirt as well, from the, from the front skirt of his gi on our left-hand side. As far as the legs, though, I think the legs are the only thing you're going to lose some articulation over. And it's a little bit of a bummer, but it works out for just how fantastic it looks. So Tatsumatsu Simple Kyaku is just... That might be the only thing that just is probably gonna look crazy. So leg wise, as you can see, we're only gonna get we're only gonna get about this far, right? Going up and forward though, you actually can get the leg to go forward. We're gonna have to fix and work with it, but we actually look at that. You can get forward. Unfortunately, it's with the help of the leg going upward that you'll get it like that. You do have a ball jointed ankle pivot, things like that. Now, another thing, it does come with white gloves just in case you are uh, prone to getting it dirty and you don't want to mess up your gi, you've had a hard day, things like that. So, they have things like that. Now, 
I do like the ankles. I just wish they moved a little better with the movement of our squishiness here because sometimes it looks a little bit out of place. But I will go into it accessory wise why it's a little helpful, what they give you. And I do like that. So I'll go into that a little bit later. But as you can see here, I could be prepping for a Hadouken, going up for a Shoryuken. Like, look at this. I really just like how realistic this feels and seems. I just love it. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the accessories as we look good on Ryu. Just, oh yeah, get them, get them. It looks fantastic, for real. So let's talk about accessories. Now, accessory-wise, this is where it gets crazy because I, I really like what they came with. I do wish that we had got like a third sculpt, but Ryu is pretty stoic and that's kind of the problem. But I think they, I, I, and this is just me with my crazy ideas. The only thing I could have possibly asked for is a beat up head for the classic style, but this is not classic. This is Street Fighter V. And I just always think back to classic, the beat up, you lose head when you do the continue. But our other sculpt is phenomenal as we look at our, our prepping for the Shinku Hadouken, our super arts. It looks slightly off to his left hand side with our grit teeth, but the sculpt is phenomenal. Tucked in underneath is another wide headband to the back of the head. So it is all there with no issue. I really like this sculpt a lot. I think they nailed it there. One of the other things is that you will get a really gigantic, a big ass Hadouken effect. This thing is gigantic and it looks phenomenal. Like you can probably use this effect for so many other things and it just looks really, really good. Like on your 112 scale Ryu, you can probably use this as a Shinku Hadouken because it's so big. It also does come with a flight stand for it. Just plugs right in. Oop. And then we have our Ryu Fallen. And I want to talk about that. That's what I was talking about with the feet thing. And that's just me having them posed up for too long. And I think that that is one of the only gripes I got to say. Like holding up wise because of the metal frame. This is why I want the, the gumness to move a little bit better with our articulation. Because even though it rocks better, the weight of his metal frame is really up there in the upper torso. So it's really a balancing act. But unfortunately, this brings me to the next thing, which is going to be the fact that you will get a beautiful wired stand. But my only gripe is, like I said, I would have loved for Ryu to be standing on his own without the help of this. But this does help dramatically. I'm going to just place his arm on top there so he will hold. Voila. So I can move him back without any issues of falling whatsoever. We have our Hadouken stand that we go back to. This just sits right on there. Speaking of Hadoukens and effects, because Ryu and you want it to look as good as possible and you don't want it to look separated, for our Hadouken parts as a separated hand, you will actually get Hadouken hands. These are actually together for each other so that it looks really good with our actual Hadouken hands. And just in case you do want to keep it separated, there are separate Hadouken hands with no problem, right? Next up, you'll get focused hands. I believe this is when he does his focus art. It looks really good pressed up against it. You will get some opened action palms. Then you'll get some relaxed hands focusing that chi. You'll also get another set of feet. And for these extra set of feet, these allow for stuff like kicking poses, uh, your downward, I think it's your down medium, as well as Joda and Salsa Dal Jerry. And I actually like this because this also presses on for the Hadouken really well as well. And they plug right into the feet with little to no issue. All of the boy joints have. And just in case you want to see them, see, I can just pop off that arm. And you'll see that metal ball joint done by TB League that is seamless and works through. So I just wanted to show that off. Last but not least, we're going to jump into the size comparison. And again, I don't have a lot of 1-6 scale stuff, but I will use the few that I have for the size comparison. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, now we're going to jump into the size comparison. But before I do that, special nod that I forgot this because I got so caught up. You actually get reused travel bag, his little gym bag that it comes with it. Squishy, you don't have to worry about it has a drawstring as well for him to be carried over the shoulder. So I just want to make sure I didn't forget that. <laughs> so I apologize. I got a little caught up. Now, like I said, I don't have any 1-6 scale stuff left, but Ryu stands perfectly fine. He's not standing up against anything. Uh, but again, that counterweight of just standing for long periods of time in that metal frame, it's very top heavy. So you have to be careful. Like one of the other 1-6 scales that I have 
is the 3-0 uh, Satoru Gojo. And as you can say, Gojo is taller. He's actually significantly taller because uh, apparently he's a tall guy. And I didn't even realize that. So as you can see here, he has some height over Ryu. Right? So I think the top of Ryu's head only just reaches his headband. Right? Then we'll do something like a 1-6 scale Stormtrooper. First order. These guys are a little bit closer in height, but it's not that crazy close of a height. And then last but not least, oh, where do you go? My John Boyega Spider-Man. My little kit bash that I've enjoyed over the years that I've had. And as you can see, with other stuff, like, he does scale pretty well, along with other 1-6 scale stuff. Not too small, but also not too tall. Hopefully I get these two to get a, a cool uh, side by side Ryu vs. Spider-Man, Marvel vs. Capcom style way. But it's crazy, though, because they also hinted at Ken, which is wild. So I'm super excited for that. But um, like I said, I have thoroughly enjoyed this. It's one of those things that it photographs so beautifully that I, I don't know how to even do it sometimes. So I'm a little caught up in how amazing the sculpt looks in camera. It's very, very, like, out of the game. I just wish I knew how to shoot in that beautiful watercolor style. One other thing I do want to add before I go, that one of the cool things... Is that this backdrop is actually from the box like this is the outside slip cover case box and this will be probably one of the few times i will take a picture of the box so you'll see that at the end of the video so i just want to say thank you for that because it actually gives you a nice beautiful matted backdrop that you can just out like fold out anytime you want to look good with your ryu um and i've really enjoyed that right so it's pretty cool but yes shout out to everybody who worked on this because this is a definite like piece out of love and i appreciated that um, if this ever comes in 112, it's a wrap. <laughs> so again, thank you so much for watching, enjoying. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys sticking through the video, especially as I do more one six scale stuff. And uh, shout out to uh, the studios who sent it over. I appreciate it because I, I would have never even known about this. So as always, please be good, do good, drink your water, guys. Mm -hmm.